In addition to the routine launches that happen twice a day, radio sondes are also launched during observational campaigns that we refer to as field projects. The goal of most of these field projects is to study specific atmospheric phenomena such as thunderstorms or tornadoes. During these field projects, multiple radio sondes are launched, either from a single site or multiple sites, sometimes just minutes apart. The benefit of collecting these data is that it allows the scientists to look and see what's going on in the atmosphere at a certain time. These type of data from these field projects is what I look at. Um, typically it's just field projects <clears throat> that NCAR is associated with. show you here on the screen is an example of one of the soundings that we collected at a field project about a year ago. You can see on the screen the red line is the temperature measurements as the sond ascends through the atmosphere. The blue measurement is actually the dew point which is a calculated value that we come up with after the, the fact. But the space in between the temperature and the dew point is actually a measurement of the moisture in the atmosphere. So the closer the lines are together, the more moist the atmosphere is. files that I examine after a field project um, sometimes contain errors or glitches um, where the instrument may have malfunctioned or the data quality may not be excellent. So that's why I go through and I look at each of these profiles to make sure that everything looks good. I then release the data to the principal investigators um, who coordinated the field project. In any one year I can look at around 500 radio sound sounding files and every once in a while I get to go out and actually launch radio sound balloons at various sites around the United States. Thank you now for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope that I was able to help you understand a little bit more about atmospheric science.